So everything I'm talking about is geared towards this centenarian Olympics, which we've talked about in the past. This idea of being the most kick-ass 90-year-old possible. And that's really based on two energy systems. So it's got the stability and the strength piece we talked about. And then it's got this low-end aerobic energy system, which is zone two that we'll talk about in a second. And then I think it's punctuated with brief bursts of generally zone five. And the reason I think those two matter is that's generally where life takes place. Life is zone one, zone two, and zone five. And so by training zone two and zone five, obviously much more in zone two than zone five, we're really teeing ourselves up metabolically and also structurally to do these things. So zone two, I don't need to say a lot on it because we had an entire podcast with Inigo San Milan on it, which I thought was a very good podcast. And he does a great job of explaining that mitochondrial area, which is zone two is basically the highest level of exertion that is effectively pure mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation before you start to net accumulate lactate. And so I do zone two about four times per week. And each time I do it, I actually use a lactate meter just to make sure I'm right on that limit of not going too far not pushing too hard, but pushing hard enough. So I'm almost always doing it on a bike, a stationary bike that's hooked up to a power meter and I'm titrating my Watts and my heart rate to get to a point where my finger stick lactate level is 1.8 or 1.9 millimole. I sometimes do this on a treadmill, usually on a very high incline. I think I usually do about 15 percent incline at about three to 3.4 miles per hour produces about the same effect. Some people choose to do this on an elliptical. I've never been a fan of that personally, but there are many ways to skin this cat. We also talked about kind of what I think the right dose is on that. And I think for someone who's never done this type of activity before, probably two hours a week is a good place to start. I think three to four is probably where you want to get to. I don't think you can do too much zone two, frankly. I think in many ways you're limited by time and the ability to allocate it towards other forms of exercise. So then the fourth and final piece of this is that high intensity zone five area that I don't think you need to be spending much time in, but to neglect it completely, you'll probably pay a bit of a price. So this is you know, the way I describe this one is the, the escalator's broken. You've got two pieces of luggage and your kid and you're late for your flight. This is the sprint up the stationary escalator. It's the, sort of the all out minute to get to that flight. So that is another energy system that is part of life. And I think we want to be able to train that. And there's been a lot of attention played to the benefits of high intensity interval training. Many of the Studies on this focus on its comparability to aerobic exercise on a minute per minute or unit time basis. It's more efficient. And so I think that's where a lot of the emphasis has been. I don't view it as either or I view it as, and, and I think that using both of these tools is optimal. And especially when the zone five doesn't require that much more time. So a typical week for me is going to have three to five bouts of strength training four bouts typically of zone two, two bouts of zone five, and stability is sort of sprinkled into pretty much every day with maybe one day of a longer, more dedicated 60-minute session around that. If you're interested in hearing the complete version of this AMA, you'll want to become a member. We created the membership program to bring you more in-depth, exclusive content without relying on paid ads. Membership benefits are many, and beyond the complete episodes of the AMA each month, they include the following. Ridiculously comprehensive podcast show notes that detail every topic, paper, person, and thing we discuss on each episode of The Drive. Access to our private podcast feed. The Qualies, which are a super short podcast, typically less than five minutes, released every Tuesday through Friday, which highlight the best questions, topics, and tactics discussed on previous episodes of The Drive. This is particularly important for those of you who haven't heard all of the back episodes. It becomes a great way to go back and filter and decide which ones you want to listen to in detail. 
really steep discount codes for products I use and believe in, but for which I don't get paid to endorse, and benefits that we continue to add over time. If you want to learn more and access these member-only benefits, head over to peteratiamd.com forward slash subscribe. Lastly, if you're already a member, but you're hearing this, it means you haven't downloaded our member-only podcast feed where you can get the full access to the AMA and you don't have to listen to this. You can download that at peteratiamd.com forward slash members. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all with the ID Peter Atia MD. You can also leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcast player you listen on. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies. Mm-hmm.